Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading Malta Character Listener by me. So let's get into it. Mitro Now Mitro might have some strange habits of course. But if there was one thing he knew, cuddling you was something that he had to do daily. It was like drinking water for him. Something that he could not pass the day without. Call him whatever you want, but it's true. And it would always remain that way. That's why, whenever the two of you are free, he would find himself getting closer to you, and you would know immediately what's coming next, his arms wrapping around your waist, while he leans into you, bearing his face into your neck. He saw the safety of your arms and the feeling of you close to him. Your scent, your warmth, and all those feelings combined made you a safe haven that he would always seek day after day. And you would always be comforting for him. Someone that you could always go to. Someone you can always count on to be there. To love him. And show him love in ways he never thought were possible. He loved to cuddle by you. But if there is something else that he loved while cuddling, it would be, well, laying his head on your lap. Maybe it was not exactly cuddling. But usually when he was tired, your cuddles would develop into this. With him, with his upper half of the body laying on your lap, while you talked to him, and he looked at you, like you were the most amazing person in the world, like you held the secrets, like you alone were more precious than any treasure in the world, than any secret it may hold. To him, you were beautiful, brighter than any star, and kinder than anyone. That he had ever met. You were lovely. To him, you were love, kindness, and beauty personified. And he knew he would always sign that in your arms. Rengaku. Now, cuddling with Rengaku is a whole other story. Because Rengaku feels kind of protective over you. Not to mention, he's quite a big guy. So, when he sees you, he can't help but want to envelop you in his arms, to hold you in them. And, well, he loves being the big spoon when the two of you are sleeping. He loves being the big spoon when the two of you are cuddling. That's how it is, really. He loves holding you and feeling you in his arms, the way his body wraps around you the way you're so small. Honestly, it doesn't matter what your size is. Because to him, you will always feel small. Maybe it's due to the fact that he feels extremely protective over you. Like he should always keep you safe. But it's not something he despises. Or finds annoying. It's something he takes pride in. And something that transfers into the relationship dynamics that you have. And that's why, whenever he gets the time, he would love to have you settle in his lap, wrap his arms around you, tucking his head into your shoulder. And sometimes it will be quiet, yes? But other times, he would be holding you and whispering the sweetest of words. Boyan, my darling, do you know you're the most beautiful person I've ever met? He says, and you find yourself chuckling softly, leaning in to give him a kiss. I know. Only because you've told me that before. You say, looking at him with so much love, and the two of you, you always acted like love sick idiots sometimes, especially when you were cuddling. But right now, right now you loved it. And every moment, really. 
Sometimes it would be a little bit too much. But even then, it would be too much in its own endearing way. And it's something you would never trade for anything else in the world, no matter what. Tengen. Now, Tengen doesn't mind how you cuddle, as long as you're actually doing it. Sometimes he will simply pick you up and put you in his lap, letting you stay there and surrounding you in his arms, holding you and feeling your body against his. You'd love that, especially if you're feeling upset or lonely, because it seemed like you always had a sense for when you were feeling that way. And you honestly felt so grateful for that. And some other times, he would just want to hold you, like today. Some other times, he would want to lay his head on your thighs. And to hold your hand. Look at your face like you're the world's most beautiful person. Because you were. Perhaps he was a little biased because he loved you. But loving you and having you with him is all that matters. So it doesn't really matter if he's biased. He'd be correct anyway. And right now, he was indeed with his head on your thighs, holding your hand, and bringing it to his lips gently, pressing soft kisses into your palm. You find yourself smiling through his hair. You know, Tangan. You can be adorable at times. I know, but that's very rare, my dear. And I'm certain right now is not one of those times. And what if I were to prove you wrong? You are adorable. Or at least, you'd always be to me. He whispers softly, and he finds himself smiling. Not really willing to object. Not when he has you in his arms like this. Or rather, when he is in your arms, it doesn't matter who has who, as long as the two of you were together and feeling the other, the other's warmth, their heartbeat, and their love. And he felt all of these things so, he felt like he had everything he needed, right here and right now. So whatever you want to say to him, it doesn't matter. Not because he doesn't care about what you'll say, but even if you object, he's not really willing to make a point because he's feeling very blessed right now to be with you and to feel loved in this way.